the uh, Indiana Fever made the playoffs. They didn't play last night, but thanks to Las Vegas with a win over Chicago and Phoenix with a win over Atlanta, the Indiana Fever have their first playoff berth since 2016. Two years ago, their home attendance was 1,800 fans. Their average this year home attendance is 17,000. <laughs> That's almost 10 times. And, of course, the big difference is Caitlin Clark. I think she should be up for MVP. Rookie of the year, foregone conclusion. But I think MVP. Now, I'm going to look at this the way I did with Michael Jordan. Now, she's not the Michael Jordan of her sport as far as athleticism, playing, dominating. But Asia Wilson is the best player in the game. Not even a debate. But I'm talking about value now. Value to a franchise, value to a league, getting your team in the playoffs. They had the number one pick. They were the worst team last year. And there is value that I can attach to that. Now, that might fit not fit in the categories that everybody would you know consider for MVP. I'm talking about value. Michael Jordan was the most valuable player every single year because of what he meant to his team and what he meant to the league. And, oh, by the way, winning six titles. Can't argue with that. Caitlin Clark may not win titles. Las Vegas is still a great team. But the fact that she is doing what she's doing and at a very high level, you know, it's now commonplace where she'll go for 26 and 12. I mean, those are great numbers for any player, no matter how long you've been in the league. She's learned how to play the game. And she said, I had to learn how to play the WNBA way. But also, she needed a rest. She needed a rest after the season in college basketball. A month later, she's playing games, and she's playing against really good teams. And then they stacked the schedule up front so everybody got to see her play. She struggled. And I said, second half of the season, look out. And that's exactly what's happened for her and her backcourt mate, uh, Kelsey Mitchell. She's wonderful, too. Uh, you know, you talk about offense. You're going to get 50-plus points a game out of your backcourt. Pretty impressive. Yes, Marvin. So if you have an MVP vote, do you give Caitlin Clark a second place? Yes. MVP? Okay. Yes. Asia Wilson's MVP. Correct. But I, once again, I'm talking about the totality of somebody's value. Her value is felt every place she goes, every arena she goes. TV, you know, ratings, value. Now, look, that's not, I guess, fair, you know, with statistical categories. But this is something that, to me, is larger than this, you know, the stats that you're going to have. Value, I think she should be runner-up to Asia Wilson. Now, there have been wonderful players. There are wonderful players. I'm talking about something that maybe is hard to define, but you know it when you see it. And that is the value that she brings to her sport.